So Chuck Fisher, I was kind of sad to hear that we are going to be without the Jacksons that we've known and loved for so many years. Yeah, I was too. Um, when my wife and I decided at the first of the year to put it up for sale, we were at hopes to find somebody to continue the tradition and continue the name. And um, it just didn't work out that way. Sometimes things are there for a time and then it's just time to move on maybe, but. It, yeah, I think, I think maybe it is, you know, it was a situation where he wanted the location, not the name. My wife and I with the grandbabies just didn't, we're not night owls <laughs> anymore. I don't you blame know? you, I'm not either. Yeah, and so we wanted to do something that was more conducive to our lifestyle so I could spend some time with the kids and my grandkids. And so we have a great opportunity to open up a coffee shop. How cool. You so know? first of all, I got to applaud that because you'll never look back on life and say, oh, I wish I would have spent more time working. But you might look back and go, I wish I would have spent more time with the grandkids and the kids and, you know. Absolutely. So, so, so I think that's life's great. Choice. Except for that, some of my fondest memories of all time have been at Jackson's. I've had so much fun there playing music. I, music. I was talking about it the other day. The very first place that I sang in Tri-Cities was at Jackson's. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, it was, it was at the Gaslight when I first sang there. And then it was Jackson's. Right. And, you know, so lots and lots yeah, of memories for so many of us music. And right. then also and, just for families. And for everybody. So, yeah. you know, what we want to do is just everybody, Facebook is your fond memories. We're all going to be sad. Yeah. Facebook is your fond memories. And so we can all kind of cherish those and hang on to them. I'm the last of the original crew. Oh, I, I opened know. it 17 that, years ago. That's crazy. As a minimum wage employee. Wow. And so it's been it's been an amazing journey. You've done a fabulous job, Chuck. Time to just turn a new page. And yeah. we're, looking to, we're looking forward to it. And so tell us about the new venture. It's going to be fun. Um, it is where it's kind of secretive, but it's really okay. not. But the cool thing <laughs> is, is my my and I hate to say it sound like that way, but my father-in-law just passed away. Oh. We just went through his. Uh, we buried him on his ninety-third birthday. Ninety-three years. That's ninety-three what years. He was a World War II um, boat a Navy veteran. He was honored and awarded for his efforts during the war. A true hero. An amazing father. Um, pastored eight churches, cut hair for 40 years, wow. and um, he would always tell me, he says, I wish everybody would just call me by my middle name, and his middle name is Parks, and so we're going to do Parks Cafe. Nice, and where's it right. going to be? It's going to be in Kennewick. Okay, but yeah, you're not so going to tell us where yet. I'm not going to tell you where yet. Okay. Yeah. Parks in Kennewick, I'm sure it will be fabulous it's if you're be in great. charge of it. So. It's going to be great. It's going to be the biggest buttermilk biscuits you've ever seen nice. and cinnamon rolls so big they won't fit on the plate and you are still going to do your catering i business, will right? i will still do catering so if you've got stuff booked with this don't panic okay. it's all still set everything okay. everything there is going to continue it actually gives us a little room in nice. the evening to yeah. uh, facilitate there because we have a place and and then the nights when i'm not doing that i can be home with the grand news nice Right. That's so exciting. I know I've got my first grandbaby coming in June, so I'm they're excited. they're amazing. They I change your wait. life. Well, so do you want to tell us what's going to be in the place of Jackson's, or is that secretive as well? I don't really know. Okay. I just know the gentleman has some really neat plans. Um, he's going to change the layout of the place. I know he wants to keep it sports related. He bought all the sports paraphernalia. It's on oh, the wall. Okay. So obviously, sports fans. There's still going to be something there for you. It's big in Richland. It is. It um, is. I know. And there's a lot of sad people. I've got as many people mad at me as I do. Oh, happy and joyous, oh, no. you know. But we won't be mad at you. We thank you for so many years of great times, great service, and great it's sponsorships. Been... You know, for all the years that I've been in radio, I can't imagine how many times you and Jacksons have sponsored some of our events or catered them or, you know, and so many times that I, in a band, have played music there, no matter what the band. I think back in the days of Private Reality and Rockbox and The Shades <laughs> yeah. and, you know, everything. Yes. So we, as musicians and as a whole Tri-Cities, thank you for so many years of great things from it's Jacksons. It's truly been a blessing for everything we've got to be involved in from bringing, help bring the music scene back, we feel like, and all the different charity events that we've got to work on and the bike rides and just all the amazing things that we've been blessed to be involved in. You've done a great you job. You know, we just wanted to High thank five all that cities. success. So, Tri-Cities, thank you. Yeah. And it's time to turn the next page. Good. Well, we look forward to Parks Cafe in Kennewick. Yeah, and we'll probably be. do a post when you open. Oh, I'm we'll sure. We'll do that I'm more. I'm sure. So I'll have you guys down. Okay. Thanks, All right. Chuck. Thanks.